floss tube welcome to you all if you're a new subscriber welcome i hope you enjoy this video and think about subscribing and sticking around every week checking out my cross stitch progress as well as sometimes a bit of crochet or um diamond painting very very occasionally knitting too but um <laughs> today's mainly about cross stitch um if you're an existing subscriber and you're coming back, welcome back. Thank you for visiting with me again. Today is Sunday the 12th of September 2021 and this is Floss Tube number 82. Those numbers are soon racking up every week. Um, I have six projects to share with you this week. This week has actually been pretty good for my cross stitch. I got plenty done. Um... I've got three bits of haul to share with you as well and the reason I got so much done is because of one of those pieces of haul but I'll share all those with you after I've shared my whips with you. Um, so I'm just going to jump straight in and show you what I've been working on. Let's move my numbers. The first one is this one. It is Tilton Crafts Avengers Endgame. Uh, bless you Luna it says art remaster said Richter so I don't know but this one is for Riley and I haven't touched it in quite a while which is naughty really it's just it's never been one that's jumped out and said hey work on me oh, I can't even get it out the bag anyway Yesterday, I don't know, I was just flipping through my whips in my basket and it was just, do you know what, I'll get this out and I'll work on it. Um, I'll insert a picture of where it was the last time you guys saw it. But when I uh, took the picture, I took the picture there. It was in its hoop ready to go right there. Because that was where I intended to work on, but it didn't work out that way. So this next bit I'm going to show you. You will just have to take my word for it that this is what I've done, because I didn't have a picture. But um, I did so much of, like, there's a, all this is like 310, 939, 820 and 823. It is really monotonous. So I did a few strands of that and then I jumped across and I did oh my gosh that shows up really really well on camera I said to Riley yesterday whose face is that he said I don't know but you can actually see his face that's Iron Man I forget his name now Tony, Tony Stark. Stark that's it I got it right as Riley said it and just I did all of that face yesterday and then this face it doesn't really look much like a face at the moment but this is Thor's face right here this, I forget what number it was. I don't know, but it's like a deep burgundy red. Very deep burgundy red. This has worked on 18 Kent Ada. And to be honest, I actually thoroughly enjoyed working on this yesterday. I did, where's my thing? 862 stitches. Now, I didn't get it out till about four o'clock yesterday afternoon and I worked on it straight through to nine half nine and I managed to get all that face done and then jump across or even this bit the part of his neck all that is the same colour and then this is the full thing so far and that is at the bottom there that is as big as it's going to be and I've gridded the whole thing so it ends there right there so you can see how big it's going to be. Like I said, 18 count white Ada, two over one. And I'm looking forward to actually getting that out again. That was just, it was so easy. I mean, we were even watching a film at the time as well and it just, it was, it was great. I have missed on that. Right, that's that one out of the way. Don't turn off. The second one, sorry, I've got my tablet on the table here and I, I've got one of the pictures that I need to show you because I keep forgetting to show you what it is, but I've got it ready. Anyway, my second one I worked on this week 
another one I've not touched in a little while is my Long Dog Samplers Pandemic. I started this last June, whenever it came out free. It's either June or July last, last year. Hang on a minute now. Was it last year, was it? Here it was. I honestly don't know, unless I get my diary out. You guys all know anyway. This I did 359 stitches on. I'll put a picture of where it was the last time you guys saw it. And then this is where we're at now. This is worked on 22 count, one over one. And my memory. I did some more of this border here. And I think this here, I'm not sure. You'll see it anyway in the difference. I haven't checked. But anyway. Yeah, it's just worked in 310. 359 isn't really bad. That's where we're at, at the moment. So that's the full width. And I still do enjoy it. When I do get it out, I do enjoy it. It looks lovely. Okay. So I'm just going to put that in a pile, or otherwise I'll be here all day. The next one I'm going to show you, another one I haven't touched in a little while, as you do. This is Disney Villains. It's from Zanna's Cross Stitch on Etsy, or Zanna Cross Stitch, I'm not sure which. But it is uh, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So. This week I did a thousand and sixty nine stitches on this. I hope you're as impressed as I am because I'm thoroughly impressed. Anyway, uh, a picture of where it was the last time you guys saw it. And I'm molting all over it and this is where we are now. I have still got a thread attached so I, I apologise because I had to pinch the needle for something else. Because I don't have enough needles, I need some more. But anyway, I have, is it 939? Possibly. It's like things are like outlined in black, but then around that black, you've also got a border of nine, like an extra bit of 939. So I've been filling in, as you, I think you can tell, because this border here is quite thick until about here, and then it goes back to the, just the 310 inside there. And then I have actually done a tiny bit of her face. Let me go to the other side. A tiny bit of her face colour. Cruella de Vil. This is stitched on 25 count, one over one. Full cross. Yet again, another one I need to uh, get out more. Project number. I think anyway it's this one it is uh, the amazing animal kingdom the mini amazing animal kingdom artwork by Amy Stewart and it's a heaven and earth design chart and um, this is one I was doing stitch around Iceland for but I was behind while well, I've managed to kind of pull some back this week I'll put in a picture of where it was the last time you guys saw it and yeah, I've got it right way up. I actually did 1,384 stitches this week, and here's where I am now. And this is also 25 count, one over one, four cross, CXC threads only, and it looks fabulous. This is properly coming together now, this patch here and up here, and then across here, it's it's all coming together a bit more. It just looks great. Absolutely great. I know Kelly will be uh, happy. Okay, project number five. I actually remember to print a cover sheet off. This is my Shannon Christine Designs Roses and Lace. 
if you've been before you know this is my um, tribute piece for my mom because it was the 20th anniversary of her passing this year and 20 years I, I honestly don't know where they've gone I really really don't I mean I was 23 at the time and you know I had an 18 month old son I mean he's 22 this year yeah and time has just gone honestly it's gone 20 years I've got to take it at the hoop I forgot okay so I'll put in a picture of where it was the last time you saw it which was only I think a week ago I think I showed it you last week anyway and this is where we are at now I said I wanted to come up and do the border squares at the top don't turn off these squares right here I wanted to jump up and start those so I had kind of two sides of a border started so that's what I did and I only did 138 stitches but this is 40 count pearl grey linen and it's one over two yeah I date myself every time I say it but I know it's true one over two and this colour is B5200 which is what it's all going to be done in and I want to finish this square this week and then at the bottom of that square is it that one pretty much You've got at the bottom of this first square going into the second one and into this border here, the first rose. Only mine are going to be yellow because my mum's favourite flower was a rose and her favourite colour rose was the yellow one. So um, this pattern is... Shannon Christine has done conversion. So you have the colours for the red rose, the pink rose and the yellow rose. So you can put whichever colour roses you want in there. And obviously yellow it had to be because that's my mum's favourite colour rose so yeah I meant to say when I started the video my brain as soon as I press record I swear my brain just has a malfunction Um, I was aware that yesterday was the 20 year anniversary also of the 9-11 that happened in New York and yesterday you were all in my thoughts and prayers all my friends across the pond you know I remember where I was that day and what we were doing and the phone call that we received from Rob's dad to say have you seen and I can't believe 20 years has gone past on that either so you were all in my thoughts and prayers and still are and I hope you know you're all okay now one more this one this is why the tablet was on the next one I'm going to show you now is my linen and threads mystery sampler from 2020 it's all of this but that just it highlights that one because that's the last one so you sort of get an idea what it looks like sort of it should have been finished by now but you know and I've left it in its cute snap while I do this I'll put in a picture of where it was the last time you saw it which was only a week ago I believe because I'm so cranked up ready to finish this thing and here the, I'll show you the bit I worked on first which was up here I said I had a hexagon it's not even a hexagon it's an octagon anyway <laughs> I finished all of that and it looks lovely so simple yet lovely and I think there was a bit to finish here as well no there wasn't no there wasn't I just started this corner so I've completed all of that and then I dropped down to here now I'm not actually sure what was there and what wasn't you'll know because you obviously you'll see the picture I know I did this 
I am absolutely not sure about that one. It might not have been there, I don't know. But I know I've done this one. And then I've dropped down. And then I think there's another two more pieces to fit into here somewhere. And then it's done. This is on 20 count, two over one. And it's DMC 115 Garnet. And it's an absolutely gorgeous colour. My needle's falling out. So I'm going to try and finish that this week. Try. I said try. I'll give it a good go. Anyway, um, that's it stitching wise. Now on to haul. And I have a massive thank you again to say to Abra because she bought me two coffees this week. And I do have a wish list. As you do, projects you want or patterns you want. And this is one that I fought with myself last week because I bought some last week. And I put this one to go for my next, when I next bought a pattern. And Abra sent me, no, she bought me two coffees, bless her. So I went straight back in. And I bought, don't tell me, this. The Temperature Butterflies by The Stitching Mommy. She's done this ready for next year, I think. And this will be my first temperature one. So thank you so much, Abra. This is going to be amazing. And what I thought about doing, because The Stitching Mommy does say you can go back and look at temperatures in a different year that's already been. And I had a, a thought... How about if I do two at the same time, one for the weather next year, because I'll start it in January, one for the that year and one for the year I was born, if that's possible. And then as, as the year goes, I can kind of see, oh, so can you see like the difference between the weather when I was born and the weather that we have now and the temperature differences. So if I can do that, I am going to do that and I'll do two, one of my year and one for 2022. So thank you again so, so much, Abra. It was amazing. Then, last week, I shared a pattern with you that I bought from Little Dove Designs. Where's the new one? Yeah. And while I was there, I signed up to their emails. So I get emails about new patterns and stuff. Excuse me. Anyway, I got an email this morning and it said they got a new pattern that was available. And I think it said it was a sal and they've just finished it. But I went straight over and this is a UK company. It's designed and made in England, it says on the chart cover. But... The thumbnail I got in the email sold it completely to me. Follow the yellow brick road. Look how sweet that is. That's just so cute. So I have now another two <laughs> that I need to uh, get kitted up. But it's beautiful. She does have uh, an Instagram and a Facebook and an email. She does have some really, really nice patterns. The other one I bought from her was the, the Dove's Year, Little Dove's Year, something like that. It had the 12 blocks, if you remember, of monthly. Yeah. So I've got an extra two that I need to kit up as well now. But we love it, don't we? We love having so many projects. The more you have, the more choice you have. And then you don't get bored. That's my justification for all my however many whips are mounting over there. Um, yeah. Then, that's it pattern-wise. The reason I got so much done this week is due to my third piece of haul, which I think I was waiting for on Monday and Tuesday. And I think it turned up Tuesday afternoon, just after dinner. And it isn't brand new, but I'm not bothered 
if you know what I mean. I'm not a snob. I don't have to have everything brand new. I don't mind if someone else sells it and I take it off their hands because it's just a bonus for me. It's something I didn't have. And I'll just shift my legs. It is. I can't show you the whole thing just because it's a, you know, a big thing. And it's a big, a big sort of floor frame. I think it's called a posy lock, I think. And like, I just lift these up, slot my frame in and I'm off and I just pull it in and it saves the faffing around with the seat frames, you know, the ones you tuck under your legs. I had two of those. Ellie's, Ellie nicked the first one and I bought a new one. Riley's nicked that one now, which I don't mind because I love this thing. I love this thing. I don't have to tuck it under my leg and get it straight. I don't even have to put it down. I just push it out and go and do whatever it is I need to get up for to go and do it. The best thing I ever bought. Brand new. I think it's an older model because I've seen some newer ones and it's a different... Um, this, this block here is a little bit different now. But I don't mind that. This was £15 brand new I think they're like 39 between 37 and 39 I think I found them for this was 15 pound even with postage it was only 22 I can't complain at all it is the best thing I ever bought I can't afford a Lowry at the moment so this is kind of the next best thing and I'm in love with it. I am absolutely in love with it. And the condition is amazing. It's almost new. So, you know, I'm not a snob. I don't have to have things brand new. That'll do me. And that's why I got so much stitching done this week because it was so easy just to put my project into the frame, pull it in, and stitch and it even puts it at a better angle for me them lap ones they're kind of like really low no matter how high there's only you only get so much length don't you to kind of pop in the um the stand so it only takes it so high that i can have it as high as i need it and it's so so comfortable to work with so let's hope next week is as a good week as this week because i've done I don't know how many altogether, but, you know, um, I've done loads this week. 2,000, 3,000, over 3,000 stitches this week. For me, that's great. Six projects and 3,000 stitches. I think I'm going to take today off. I've been busy this morning catching up on the housework. I haven't been doing while I've been stitching. And then... I think this afternoon I'm just going to get my crochet out, finish finish the jacket. I had to restart it because the zips I got, I bought for another size, but I was doing the size below. So I've had to restart and working for the next size up. So I might just pull them out this afternoon and carry on with them. We'll see. Anyway, um, that is it. That's all the stitching I've done. I haven't really done anything else except stitch. And I've showed you my haul. Which I'm so excited about. I've just got to kick them up now. Anyway. Um, I don't think there was anything else I wanted to tell you. No. Anyway. All links to... I say all my projects. I haven't actually checked in a little while what's there so i should really go and check make sure all the links are below the only one that isn't there is the avengers end game because that's no longer available on um tilt and craft so i haven't found it since i do keep looking but if there is a project you like the look of links to all my projects are in the description whether i've shown them today or not whether i've worked on them this week or not I always put them all. It's just easier to kind of copy and paste everything. As well as links to, which I am really bad at at the moment, Insta my Instagram, um, my Facebook, 
My email is also down there if you'd like to contact me that way, that's fine. The buy me a coffee link is in the description box too. Not a necessity, but greatly appreciated. Abra's been awesome this week, my extra pattern. So if you do, thank you. If you don't, you know what, that's fine. That's fine as well. Just watch my videos. I enjoy doing them for you guys. And I hope you enjoy watching them as much as I enjoy doing them. So take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.